My name is Steven Nelson and I'm a gay male. I'm a part of a fraternity and when I first came out, it was pretty much when I went up at chapter. Going into it, I thought, okay, they're gonna call me fag or they're gonna beat my ass. I was terrified. Really, it was scary. Going in, I was kind of, if they like me, they like me. If they don't, they don't. In front of everyone, I said, I'm gay. It was dead silent for a second. Everyone started, like, just got up and started cheering and was just an immense amount of love. Not expected in the Midwest. So being in Omaha, Nebraska, at a really religious college, it's kind of intimidating to be gay and not really have that many gay people out there. After I came out, we've accepted actually out gay people into our fraternity and it's been a lot more accepting than what it used to be. And now it's everyone stops in their tracks and they apologize, they fix what they're saying. They don't say fag or anything derogatory anymore. They're more accepting. But growing up in super conservative, highly military area of California. My parents were super conservative. Growing up, they would always be, you guys aren't gay, our children will not be gay. It was terrifying. I expected, okay, if I come out, I'll be kicked out of my house. They're going to hate me. Pretty much once I got out on my own, it was still scary, but Coming out when I had friends, it was a little bit easier. It's the whole blood is thicker than water, but blood is your friends. You pick your family in all actuality. You don't have to stay with family that doesn't accept you or love you. Once I graduated high school and went to college out in Nebraska, I met a bunch of friends. It was more liberal-minded, loving, overall accepting people. Over time, I just got more and more comfortable with them. I decided to first start coming out to some of the people that are closer to me after two years of being out there. It was scary, but I figured, all right, these people, they know me, they won't change their opinion of me based on who I am. First time I went to a drag show, I had no idea what to expect, but seeing the performers up there, I kind of just got inspired by them and they don't care what people think. It's, I'm me, they own who they are. They pretty much just flip the bird to everyone that has a problem with it. That's just what I aspire to be, just unapologetically me. Even though it's scary, there are millions of us and we're all willing to fight for our rights. We will protect each other. It's in all actuality one giant family. That's what's most important is that LGBT youth should know that there are many people and everyone's out here to support them and help them in any way. They should know that even though it may be scary, they may not know the future. They have millions of people working to help them and willing to fight for them. I feel like those people that are like me that go to college that are maybe scared to come out because they're not sure if people will accept them. While they shouldn't, if they don't feel safe, they should find those people that they feel comfortable around. And it'll surprise you how many people will actually still accept you and love you for who you are.